Hey guys, well, it is uh, Wednesday, and uh, I'm going to take you guys inside the studio this week. So welcome to this week's vlog. Uh, I'm cutting a killer record today for a very talented artist uh, based out of Chicago. So I got the guys together, sitting outside the studio right now. Everybody's going to be loading in, and I'm going to take you along for the ride. So welcome to this week's vlog. It's going to be a lot of fun. Roll the intro. Gather up, you weary souls. Show them you ain't dead. Tell them all you ain't coming home. Woo, rise. Woo, rise. Woo, rise. Hey guys, and welcome back to this week's vlog. This week has been a crazy week. Matter of fact, the last three months. Uh, has been extremely crazy with my writing schedule and the records that I'm producing uh, and even some of the video projects that I'm working on and some of the things that I'm going to be telling you about uh, coming up. Matter of fact, today um, I'm just now getting this portion of the vlog done because I'm packing to head up to, uh, to head out to LA tomorrow for a week. Uh, I've got some great writes set up and some meetings with a couple artists about producing their records. And then also as well, some of you may have heard the new single from Chasing Trains, The Kind That Can't. Um, I was lucky enough to co-write that song with my buddy Daniel Capolero, uh and Steve Horner, and also co-produced it as well. Uh, well, Chasing Trains has a big, huge showcase for a lot of booking agents and, and stuff like that at the Peppermint Club this week, so I'm going to fly out and check that out as well, something I'm very excited about. Speaking of producing records, that's what this week's vlog is all about. A couple months ago, I got contacted by a very talented artist uh, in Chicago. And this guy has always done his own music. He, he's very knowledgeable in logic and other computer programs and DAWs and things like that that allow you to kind of create your own music. He's a phenomenal musician in his own right. Uh, but he was interested to see what his music would sound like if he turned it over to a real producer. And he contacted me and said, I would love to hear what my music would sound like through your vision. And uh, so we agreed on, on terms, and I said, I'd love to do it. I listened to the songs. I love them. Uh, it's a completely different style, um, and it was something I was really excited about. And uh, like I said, we started out with three, and over the course of a couple of months, uh, we basically went into the studio, and we cut nine songs in one day. Uh, you're going to get to go along for a little bit of that process today and see what happens in the studio when we take a song from its very beginning and its essence of maybe just a piano vocal or a guitar vocal and how we chart that out with the Nashville number system and then you'll see the communication between myself and the other musicians about how we want to arrange this song, what parts we want to play and how we put this song together to turn into something magical uh, at the end. You'll also get a chance to see some of the players that I use on just about every record that I produce. Um, and the reason that I do that is because these guys are so good, they're so efficient, and they're so knowledgeable in their own instruments and in the business itself and in the process of recording that it's like having another five producers in the room. They all bring their own separate and unique creativity to each part, whether it's David Dorn on the keys or Tim Dembo on the bass or Tim Galloway on guitars, uh, to Grady Saxman on the drums, just a phenomenal drummer and percussionist and programmer. Um, you'll get to see a little bit of all of that today. So I hope you enjoy this week's vlog. Uh, I'm gonna take you inside the studio. We're gonna start out and we're gonna start at the very beginning and you'll get to hear the, what we started out with and then you'll get to hear a little bit uh, of what we ended up with. So I'm really excited about it. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. Let's take a trip into the studio right now. The back half we're playing it through. Yeah. Or, I mean, but, but lyrically, is it so built into it that we can't get away from it? Now, I know this is, he played it just like a chorus thing, but I wanted to try going back to the like, turnaround bit to help break up the fact that it's the same thing. You know? I don't know, what do y'all think? Is it better to have to be back after the verse like that? Or is it better to be in your hand? And this is a solo thing, so it's more up to you, Tim. I'm on fire, red high. Give more. Where in the course three? 
the style. I wonder if you only did that to match one chorus. I, that's what I felt maybe, like. Maybe too. do it like like halfway through, like right here or something. You know what I mean? Like what is that? Uh, measure nine through. Hold on, stop. That's well, and the verses do that. Right, right, exactly. So I didn't write all this stuff in so we could figure out what to do with it. I like the Gavin the Grump. You know, I do too. I, I think the that's a good. So all the stops and the yeah. verses and the chorus are just freaking rock. Right. And even yeah. if I yeah. kind of hit at it, it's yeah, and like kind of busy bass line. Not, you know, not if we were all kind of holding down. Cause like it'd be super gay, be like, don't like all like, you know, yeah, well, like theory of a day man. It'd be cool to make it funky. The verses you mean? Yeah, just as a oh, yeah. feel, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. The rock feel yeah. might make it kind of like super weird. Let me ask you this about like the push feel of like, it, you know what I mean? Is that the. On the beat no. yeah. down. That's the inherent rhythm of the thing. See, I like what you're doing. Keep your focus and stay It loses the push feel though. Daddy, those two things work together, so I'm trying to play that. Yes. He's going to make it. I, I like that. But it's a push. Try it. Okay, cool. Yeah. As long as the kicks keep in the push, then we're good. Yeah. Don't it, 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 I don't know. It makes it a little funnier. No, I like that idea a lot. So what about the chorus? I was just thinking, you know. I think we should open up the chorus. Exactly. I was going to just like lay like long eighth notes. That's what I feel too. Is that? Yeah. Do, do, do. You build up all that, do, do, you know. Do, do. You build up all the pressure in the you verse, know. and you kind of release it in the chorus. And I exactly. Can keep that same rhythm thing just open. Now let me ask you the solo. Do you like it with the? Dun, 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 or is it just? Dun, 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 Might be cool. Dun, so be force. And way. and and I'm I'm not sure. The only reason I brought it up was, you could. You could do. Another thing you could do on, on this one, like drum wise, is do that. The yeah. That pop thing. No. And, and then open it up to the gap. Let me ask you this. Chord. Would that be a cool treatment for our turnarounds? Is that. Yeah. Then give it a break. You know what I mean? Yeah. The break up. That, that's cool. Intro, solo, and turn. And yeah, so that, exactly. That'll that would make break up the courses. courses. That's the thing, like, to make them feel like a I think that'd thing. be cool. Okay, let's try that. Let's see what happens yeah. with it. Let me give you one bar and fly it. 
Oh, uh, you're right. What else could it be? Huh? So what else could it be, you know? Got a little verify action going. I'm gonna pray for redemption. I'm gonna talk to my God. I'm gonna ask for forgiveness. Last in peace in this world. I hear you talking about climbing the mountain. I hear you talking about crossing the sea. Can we do changes? Are you talking Another one? Like Face World? Yeah, I think it's all open. Right. It's real. Play acoustic with the slide. So here's what I think. Yeah, Well, I know this week's vlog wasn't quite as long as most of them are, and it was a little bit different, but when I knew I was gonna be going into the studio, I thought, you know, this would be a great opportunity. Uh, take one of the cameras with me, take you guys into the studio, kind of let you see the process and some of the people that I work with uh, on a regular basis. Like I said, I'm heading out to LA next week. I am taking a camera with me. Uh, no telling what in the world you're gonna get into next week with me. I'm gonna shoot all of it. I'm gonna shoot as much footage as humanly possible. Uh, also, I'm gonna have a special guest for next week's vlog. So I'm looking forward to that and I uh, hope it's a good trip. Hope you guys have a great week as well. If you liked today's vlog and you enjoyed it, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button one time. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs button down twice. And as always, you can find me everywhere on social media at the Steve Freeman on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you haven't already and would like to, click that subscribe button and then hit the little bell next to it so that you're notified every time I upload new content. Until next time, guys, don't forget, keep pressing the boundaries, keep being creative, and there's nothing wrong with being in See you guys next week. Does he ever ask you about your mom? Does he give a damn about your friends? Say that you're the perfect in pajamas. Baby, I know better. Does he ever kiss you while you're crying? Does he even hold your hand? If you tell me yes, I know you.